Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your September 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so Gemini, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for love for September 2019. I hope that it's good things. I hope. I pray. Yeah, let's get into it. Going on for the Gemini with love finances. All right, that could be good, that could be bad, but it could be good. We're gonna say it's good. Needing to get some rest, memories. All right, what's going on for Gemini? Okay, motivation. Okay, relationship dynamics. All right. Gracefully aging, new exercise program. What's going on for okay. Be true to you in a new career. Nice. Family changes at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, lots going on for the Gemini, right? Finances. No romance without finance, right? The finances are, are playing a part in in regards to your connection with Maybe there's some new love here, new friendship. This could even be newfound inspiration you trying to build something here and it's taking a, you know it's taking a bit of your finances in order to in order for it to become stable or there are finances coming in there's new partnerships and contracts maybe there's something you do spiritually you're a spiritual teacher a healer uh, an expert in regards to so finances may be looking good too, but it's also taking it's also put, taking those resources and replenishing and putting back into business. Yeah. Get some rest. Why is my Gemini not resting? Ten of Swords. All right, so you're tired. There's been a, a disappointment maybe. An ending. Uh, you feeling backed into a corner. You, you needing to think your way out. Wow, you needing to actually four swords really rest, recuperate. Maybe from the fight, maybe from the ending. If not with another air sign, uh, just this is where your mental capacity is. Needing to slow down and actually, yeah. Slow down, Queen of Wands, you might be doing a lot. Or this may be in regards to the Queen of Wands. Something ended. Uh, you needed to heal, rest, recuperate to regain energy. The Queen of Wands can do a lot. She's very energetic. She's like the soccer mom. She is in this, in that. She's very busy. One more card for get some rest. Five of cups, yeah. It might it might definitely be in regards to something ending. Something that there was hesitation on or in. Something that caused grief and hurt. There might be memories here that aren't allowing you to sleep. Okay. We got relationship dynamics. What's going on here? Six of Pentacles. There might be problems in an existing relationship. It could be a second relationship, second marriage. Doesn't have to be. Eight of Swords. Someone feels there. There are negative thoughts surrounding. There is can cancellation. There is.
there's someone still giving. Someone feels differently or negatively about the the merger, about the union. There's also an air of mystery in regards to the other person's money or whereabouts or whatever they do. There's also uh, someone feels differently and it rests on relationship dynamics and it talks about the dynamic of the relationship shifting, changing because somebody feels different about the relationship now. Either there's someone entering or exiting or someone is, uh, their feelings are now different. It used to be of love, now it's of regret or remorse. Someone wants to go back to the past. Someone is analyzing the data in regards to the past and how it used to be and how healthy the relationship was and how it fit. Someone is also thinking about the sense of usefulness. Is this relationship even useful? Where does it fit? Someone could be spying on another. There could be gossip and rumors surrounding how someone feels. Someone is not communicating about their feelings. Someone is just allowing for the other person to just run amok in their feelings. But this person is remaining emotionally stable, not allowing anything to deter them. You could be dealing with a cancer. Be true to you. What is this about? The tower. If it's about something suddenly happening, shifting, changing, about maybe a challenge arising in a relationship or a project, how you deal with it is going to have historical measure. You have this is not uncharted or unfamiliar territory. So you've dealt with this before. And then as I say that, the Five of Swords comes up. We all know that the Five of Swords is about resurfacing, about coming back, something cropping itself back up. Someone can't get over or get past. Maybe a love affair, maybe some romantic love affair, some drama that ensued or that went on within a dynamic, within a union. Yeah, within this union. This could be about Gemini talking, saying this to some masculine energy. Maybe bringing it back up. Or inquiring about how someone feels. Or what the long-term goals are. What are we building towards? Are you trying to offer your cup elsewhere? In the midst of some long-term goals being laid out or plans being made or someone doing the energetic work or actually doing the, the work to fulfill long-term goals there might be something that comes back up maybe in regards to some drama ensues around some money But there, there is a need for to, to celebrate for some of you if that is in career. But this is a love reading. Some of you want to go and offer marriage or the reestablishment of a relationship to someone who you are estranged from. And then this popped out because you feel like this is this was a successful relationship 
you might have been the one playing some childish games. It's almost as if somebody's examining themselves. Yep. You may want to go. This is all about how you play your cards. You're trying to have the courage to bring back some relationship that either brought you a lot of happiness and contentment. You want to speak your truth about it. How they made you very happy. And how the loss of them makes you feel. The loss of the friendship. Yep, and then there is you. And how you're making a choice to either... What are you making a choice to do? What is Gemini making a choice to do? Five of Pentacles. You want to make a choice. You don't have a lot of confidence. You don't have a lot of... This is a lack of confidence in, in returning in establishing a real relationship and you don't have a lot of confidence that this person will take you back or accept your proposal you look at them as the empress you want to give message to them that you want to be their provider their husband that you have made significant strides over significant achievements you think about them you think about the sex you think about the level of intimacy you have with them you think about how you can build with them you think about how you want to salvage the relationship the world could be a fixed sign could be an Aquarius we've got the or Libra we have the king of swords You think about this relationship. You think about how you could, yeah. For some of you, it's a, it's a, the question of getting back. You want to get back with someone. What is the advice for the Gemini? And then for some of you, it's someone is having buyer's remorse in regards to a relationship. Wait. Remain positive. Romance. Nice. We talked about that. Compromise. Abundance. We have a no answer. So here at the webs here at the channel, we clarify our yes and no answers. So let's clarify this no answer. What is this no answer for the Gemini? What is this no answer for the Gemini? Okay, so the Five of Wands talks about conflict. Uh, it also talks about conflict resolution. It talks about the the opposition, opposing opposing parties. It talks about yeah, competition and opposing parties. It could talk about the the want and the need to. Or the want to have new love and new marriage. But still have opposition in the way of that. So no. No. So somebody. No. Wow. So no, this is a tough one because it, first of all, it's not the most positive message. For some of you, the answer is no in regards to getting, getting back with someone. No, they don't want it back. There's a close, could be with a fixed sign. You're going to try. 
And then there's also a no to rebuilding and reestablishing some marriage. Someone's on the fence about divorce. It looks like they're going to make the choice to possibly maybe walk away. And it could be a temporary walking away from, from something that is unfulfilling. Something that is, they feel like it's not on their journey. They're, this is not what it should be. Yeah, they feel like they have been enlightened towards the fact that they want to be elsewhere. Wow. Okay, um, Gemini. You do have romance, though. You know, sometimes in the midst of things falling apart or just not working out, you can't have those times where it is good and it'll look like it is going in a direction that you feel like it should be going. But then people, you know, have a change of heart, change of mind. Let me see. Is that something or someone new coming in for Gemini? There is some new partnership that will offer you a lot of happiness and stability. A new look. But it's elsewhere. It's not where you are. Or who you're with. We got a no answer for right now. You you need to take this day by day. You need to heal. You need to make the, the choice to have peace with. Maybe Cancer male. Aries Sagittarius Leo. Because the relationship is upside down. Two of cups in reverse. Ten of swords upright. It's ending. Or you need to make peace with some air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They no longer see you as an option or want this. They feel like this love affair is not even an option anymore. Okay? Gemini, if you feel like you want to get your own energy and it's you just want to be sure this is not your story, Go over to the website, book your own reading there. We can pull your energy and see where you are with your partner or with your significant other or your life or your relationship. For some of you, a new career is embarking. You're embarking on a new career. It looks good. It just looks like something comes back up really quickly. You deal with it and you move forward. Um, thank you, Gemini. Take care. Many blessings.